What is going on guys, it's your boy Codestar here, back with another, um, not so much an unboxing, but more of a review. Now, I'm sure that if you're a fan of Buddy Fight, you might have known that you could get an English copy of the comics, um, manga, if you will. You know, they usually have these at events and cons and stuff. So maybe it doesn't surprise you that you can get a hold of these pretty easily. Maybe you thought they were limited edition, but they're not. And, you know, if that doesn't shock you, then this next manga definitely will. Oh yeah. You can get Beyblade Burst in English. I know I was definitely shocked. But if you're still not shocked... This next one will definitely shock you. Take a look. Detective Conan. But it actually says Detective Conan and not Case Closed. Oh my god. Alright, so if you guys are wondering how I got these. They actually came from Singapore. Singapore has a lot of English speakers there, so they have a lot of English books, and, and I'm guessing that Viz still exists there, so they still have a lot of Viz comics in Viz manga, but I guess the company that prints these, which is right here if you want to try and read that, the company that prints these, I guess they just pick up the stuff that Viz doesn't. Because obviously we're not seeing any of these here. I mean, we see this printed by Viz. But obviously it doesn't say Detective Conan. It says Case Closed. But anyway, I thought that I would go over these. Um, give a brief explanation of how I got them. And... I'll be making a video soon on a more in-detail, well it's pretty much just going to be a video tutorial on how to order these. Now these are coming from Asia, so be prepared to pay a pretty penny on shipping. Alright, these comes with two free cards. Alright, I'm not going to take them out of the wrapper at the moment, but here we got Drum Bunker Dragon 10,000, I think it's an alternative art, and definitely looks pretty cool, and then here we got Dragonic Punisher, alright, so we'll go ahead and do sort of a quick flip through and I'll go through the first few pages here yep and it's got that um, because they know that you're used to reading from left to right all right let's go ahead and open up this second buddy fight which also comes with a card it's so yeah, if you guys are feature card buddy fight collectors, or you just want the alternative arts in your deck, I mean you'd have to buy three of each of these books, but here you go, these are how you get these. This is Tsukikage Giant Shield. Alright, do a quick little flip through this. Looks like it has the same first few pages maybe. Or they just look similar. I'm not gonna go look back. But yeah. And you know these aren't like cheap. These are high quality. Like these pages actually feel nicer than Viz. Which is surprising. I know. But yeah. Now to the sort of shocker comic here. I don't know why I keep calling these comics. I usually refer to them as manga. 
I'm just calling them comics today for some reason. Oh well. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys are Beyblade fans, you're definitely gonna appreciate the fact <laughs> that uh, you can actually get hard copies of the manga. So, and just in, just before you go uh, assuming that it's like a really bad English translation, I mean, you, you can go ahead and read that real quick and judge for yourself, but I compared a couple of pages, not out of this uh, Detective Conan book, but out of the first book, I compared the pages and it's the exact same translation. So... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a um, pretty legit translation, like it's done well by genuine English speakers and not by, you know, a translation bot. Oh my, this plastic just doesn't want to give. I might have to cut this. Alright, finally got this one. This one was pretty tough. So we'll go through the first few pages and we'll skim through the pages I mean. Yeah, these pages feel nice. Like super high quality. Alright, last book here, Detective Conan. That came open really easily. So yeah. Yeah, each book comes individually wrapped, which is really nice. And actually this one and one of the buddy fight ones was actually double wrapped. Like what like it had this plastic wrapping on it and then it had like a like a shipping bag over it. So if you guys have the Viz translation, this is um, let's go to the first page. If you guys want to compare what it says. Go ahead and do that and test the quality. Well, who knows? Maybe they just share a translation with Viz. I can't get over how nice these pages feel. Like, dang. Alright. So, that was sort of the overview. Now, let's talk about how I got them. So, you cannot just buy these directly from any Singapore website. You have to use a shipping service. And I used one called Forward Buy. Now, I didn't see too many reviews on it, so it was kind of sketchy. But they actually are reliable. And they actually got these here pretty fast. How, how fast? so fast that I was not even able to prepare this video. I was going to compare the Beyblade Burst manga to the Japanese version, but I didn't, I didn't get that one out to compare it. I didn't have time to get that out. And I got here so fast that I was actually planning on unboxing this for my next video, but I decided to do this instead because of how fast it got here. I ordered this, so I used Amazon Singapore, and I ordered that, and it got to the warehouse about a day later, and then they this got here just a couple days after, so yeah. Now the shipping service also ships stuff from India, but... I don't really know too much stuff in India that I'd want. So I'll just, whenever I make my video on how to do this, I'll only be doing Singapore. So yeah, and hold on, I got one more thing to show. All right, so one of the reasons I was going to compare this to the Japanese version is because the Japanese book is probably a little smaller, like, you know, cut off the top and cut off a little bit of the side. It's pretty small and here's a shonen manga a viz printed shonen manga it is 
the exact same size, like the exact dim dimensions. So if you were going to put a manga sleeve on it, um, I'll put a link in the description to where you can get these, if you can see it on there. It's a protector. So if you wanted to put one of those on it, it'll fit these nicely. I haven't got a chance to put one on these yet. So, you know, take take that as you will. Maybe it'll fit. Maybe it'll just be slightly too big. I don't know. And one other thing. One other thing is that they had English copies of Doraemon. But... You can, but the people who print Doraemon in Japanese also print English editions. And the difference between these English editions and the ones that um, the company that prints these is, the difference is that, well, first of all, the cover art. I like the cover art on these a little better. But also, the ones printed by the official you know, printer, have Japanese subtitles. So, you know, if you're buying this, you're most likely a little fascinated with Japanese culture. So, you know, the odds are pretty high that maybe one day you're going to at least try to learn the sounds of the Japanese characters. And not only that, but if you were planning on reselling this manga, it's gonna have higher resale value since it's dual language. So, yeah, there's that. Do what you want with that information. So, um, I'll leave a link to where you can get this if I didn't already say that. It's actually the same website you get the protectors to put on these books. Um, so, yeah. That's pretty much it for the video. I'll probably just keep these in here. To be honest, I don't really have a reason to open them. So, yeah, that's it for the video. Hopefully you guys learned something new today. Um, you learned about English copies of books that are usually printed in Japanese. Let me center these books. You learned possibly learned about manga covers that protect your manga's front-facing art, and you probably learned about the dual-language version of Doraemon. So yeah, pretty educational video. Um, that's pretty much it, so I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.